Jack Keen. This game looks so old. <laughs> ah, Miss Grizzle. I must say, you do look exceptionally vexed today. You flatter me, Dr. T. Anything special <laughs> in the mail? Indeed there is. The Queen is allegedly sending a secret agent to spy on us. Right, it's high time. Might I pound him to a pulp, please? Oh, all right, but not all at once. <laughs> Your pea brain would be an attraction at any museum. Now, you're really gonna get it. I like that guy's voice. The, uh, I, I don't know his name. The henchman on the left. All right, let's take this knife. Lost in life already? Stay right there! He tripped on the knife? Just you wait! <laughs> Where'd that come from? Places at the top of a tower. If there's one thing I can't stand, it's being way up high. Come on, big. I thought we were inside like right a, a pirate door. ship. I should hurry. I did not think How we were on top of a tower. So adventure games are very slow paced, and there's a lot of like puzzles involved, and it's, it gets. I don't know. I'm not a big fan of this genre. So moving on. All right, so this game is called Carnage in Space Ignition. Oh, that's right. Yeah, take that. I mean, this game like it kind of has a cool like combat system. All right, I just defeated the boss. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, moving on to the next game. So this seems to be a narrative-driven game about a guy who's about to fall off a cliff in his car. Uh let's name the car. These are weird names for cars. Hmm. Alright, so... I don't know if I want to go through all of this. I mean, it would have been better if it had some voice acting. Um, but this is just text. And there's like a little squirrel over here. That's kind of cool. I mean, it has, a, it has a nice art style, I have to admit, but... Nothing's really happening, and there's no real gameplay. I'm just like clicking random dialogue options. Okay, so this one's called Salt and Sanctuary. Whoa, that's kind of cool. Whatever I just did there. Don't have any idea what I'm picking up. I guess gold? The unkeepable deep. Unspeakable deep. Uh oh. Is that a boss fight? Oh crap. Oh shoot. Ah! <laughs> Did I die already? Uh oh. The Soden Knight. Boss fight time. Wait a minute. Oh! Nope. <laughs> There's no pausing. <laughs> Oh shoot, alright. Uh, crap, crap, crap. Do I have a health potion? Yep. Oh, that does like nothing though. Is there like 
the, there's like small health potions. Shit. And I'm dead. Wow. Obliterated. <laughs> okay, round two. Let's try this again. I had to make my way all the way back up here. I did find some grenades. I'm gonna throw some grenades at them this time. Maybe that'll work. Maybe not. Oh, it is working. I'll just kill him with grenades. Die! I have some throwing knives, too. Uh oh. Blocked. Oh, shoot. No! Shit. Can I run? Oh, fuck. I just died. Again. Oh, and he stole all my salt. Man, he kills you so fast. Alright, third time's a charm. I hope he's weak. If he has full health, I'm screwed. I'm screwed. I'm trying to block, but I can't block. Wait, I'm supposed to jump over that. There we go. Ah. Uh. Okay, so I think I'm going to end this video here. Salt and Sanctuary was actually a pretty cool game. It reminded me quite a bit of Dark Souls and games of that genre. Uh, very, very challenging and difficult. I think I need to spend a little bit more time exploring, uh, leveling up my character, and maybe doing a little bit of research on how to effectively fight the bosses, because they seem to be very, very strong <laughs> compared to my character. Uh, but uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and have a nice day.